So from my bank, to the first now, I'm going to jack on this is on the internet. But when banks close, there are consequences. The bank closes, um, really good to the town. It's, uh, there's a lot of people in, in, in this area who like to use cash. Um, they'll, they'll get the pension money in the, through the bank, obviously, but then they go draw it out and spend it. But obviously, they've got the bank down. I think it's, it's changed the footfall in the town, you know, there's no doubt about that. Uh, but I think we've got to adapt to survive in any business, and you know, we can't just scream and the banks are not going to come back. It's, it's gone, that's, that's the past. We've got to try and look towards the future, and now we can attract people in, into the town in other ways. So this trend towards a patchwork society is having an impact on both individuals and entire communities. But some experts are the producers again. So the Scottish First Minister this morning, Nicola Sturgeon, uh, said that it showed that Scotland was on the right path, in other words, on the right path to good government, into an independent government. But as David Mardell, the Scottish Secretary, the UK government's representative in Scotland, he said it was concerning that the deficit was unfortunately four times bigger for Scotland than for the whole of the UK. That's just the start of this argument. It will intensify as uh, the months go on, as Brexit gets closer, and those questions about the future of Scotland should it be within the UK after Brexit. To communicate with some spirits in this house and be able to show to the owner that it's possible and it's something real. Just think of this, all the battles, the deaths, the suicides, any of this that's taken place on this land and within these walls is going to be absorbed into the building and released over time. We've decided to attempt contact with three separate type of spirit entity. There are the ghosts of soldiers in the ground. The spirits of an unknown female who may have died in one of the bathrooms. And the trapped soul of the boy known as Jack. So this room here is Jack's room. So perhaps we asked to speak to Jack. I would like to go back there, okay. The owners, they just don't like to go in this room. They don't feel good in this room, they don't like to go. So Francis told you that they as a family do not like to go in there. Yeah. Room. That's going to help. I mean, I've been up here, and we're trying to read cameras and, and, and all the wiring, and there is... to wave her magic wand and help protect Potter fans. Jackie O'Brien, Glenn Finnan. Astronauts on board the International Space Station have had to deal with a leak probably caused by a collision with a fragment from a meteorite. One of the astronauts was able to plug the hole with his finger before it could be covered with thermal sealant and tape. 
Engineers on the ground are now working on a rather more durable repair, but they do say the crew of six is in no real danger. India's batsmen have frustrated England's bowlers on the second day of the fourth test in Southampton. The visitors are chasing England's first inning score of 246 all out. At lunch, India are 100 for two. Sports correspondent Adam Wilde reports. In test cricket, bowling can be an art form. On a picture-perfect morning in Southampton, how England needed their old masters to create something spectacular here. We all have not one, but two of those, James Anderson, the first to display his work. The artists artist saluted the life and legacy of the soul singer, Martin Stewart Reports. Ah, oh, it's Rita Franklin's funeral, bye. Huh?